When it comes to decoding someone's first impression, it all comes down to three areas. Plus one. Hi, I'm Silvia Di Trostom, and today's video will get into how we actually read people. Vanessa submitted this question to me, and before we look into it, remember that you too can submit your questions. Just check in the description below how, and I will get to your question in the next weeks. So let's get started. When it comes to reading other people, there is no fast and easy way. Honestly, it can feel overwhelming trying to decode the millions of pieces of information we are being bombarded with. While some factors of people's first impression may be noticeable, others aren't so obvious. That's why I have split the first impressions code into three areas that can provide insights into a person's personality. And to simplify them, I call them the ABCs. First, the way you look. Then, the way you behave. And finally, the way you communicate. These three areas help you, at least a little, to sort and group and classify the millions of information pieces you get bombarded with when reading other people's impressions. Most of us start with appearance. From the second we see another person, we are making assumptions about them based on their body image, their physical health, their clothing, and the way they have groomed themselves for the encounter. We are visual creatures like it or not. Then we get more cues about the kind of person they are based on how they behave, their attitude, how positive or negative they are, their body language and their etiquette. We better understand who they are by their nonverbal and verbal communication. The sound of their voice, the tone and volume they speak in, or their communication habits. This could include if they are gossiping, complaining, making excuses, or if you feel they are actually listening during the encounter. And while these may be some of the thoughts flowing through your subconscious mind when meeting someone at a meeting, at a conference, at the airport, or at any event or place, the reality for many of us is that most often first impressions aren't made in person. Most often, you actually do not decode someone in real life for the first time. Instead, most of the decoding happens online, because we all leave behind a digital footprint, and we use others' footprint to build our first initial opinion about them. So you may find yourself decoding another person's uh, impression through their social media, emails, websites or forums, and you will apply the same criteria, how they look, how they behave and how they communicate while decoding them on your screen. And this part of the decoding process already influences your opinion about someone, and it's hard for them to change that imprint once you meet them in real life. So, the most important thing I can tell you is that you have to be careful about your immediate biases. Once you form an opinion about somebody, for example online, it can be incredibly challenging to change that imprinted opinion, whether it is good or bad, even later in real life. While it can be tempting to simply trust your gut and follow your initial beliefs about somebody, it is crucial to remember how different everybody is and the different circumstances everybody faces. Also, your past experiences, perceptions and intuitions lead you to read people in specific ways. And your perception of others often has a lot to do with how you see yourself. Therefore, if you are getting a strange feeling from somebody or they initially rub you the wrong way, Take the time to think about what trait they have that you are potentially envious of or find triggering. This can help you, for example, to discover whether you have an issue with this person or an unresolved issue within your past that is just being presented through this new person. 
Also, keep in mind, it is not uncommon for people to try too hard while imprinting a first impression on you. This can lead them to put up a false persona and manipulate your perception. In any case, rather than holding it against them, give them empathy. First impressions can make people extremely anxious and by operating from a place of empathy, you will be able to see from their perspective rather than just your own. This will allow you to decode their first impression better so that you can get to know who they really are. Finally, by getting to know and decoding your own impression first and foremost, you can become more tapped into others. To help you with this, I have created a free online assessment for you to find out how others perceive you. Once you are aware of how others are decoding you, you will not only gain insight into how to be empathetic towards others during a first impression, but also how to understand better the way in which they are hoping to come across in the encounter. If you have found this video helpful, hit the bell to get notified weekly when new videos are posted. And be sure to share it with somebody who may need to decode their own impression too.